Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Lance from Nerfist TV. Today, we're just going to have a look at a quick look at the functionality called Sidecar, which Apple announced. Uh, basically, what it is, is you plug in your MacBook Pro or your iMac or whatever Mac you have, and you can use your iPad Pro or iPad, any iPad really, as a secondary display for that, which also on things like the iPad Pro or one of the ones that support Pencil, these days, I think it's pretty much all of them, you'll now be able to use the pencil for annotating and drawing. Well, we'll see how drawing orientated it actually is. You know, functionality like uh, Duet Display and AstroPad have been doing for years. Okay, so here we have our sidecar test. If you have a look here, you'll see there is an icon right here for Sidecar. And then I have my iPad Pro plugged in via a cable to the same Mac. I believe you can do this without wireless and my tests have shown that it can be done and I'll show you now. Okay, so sidecar settings. Um, you can have the shortcut bar on the left or right. That's all that is. It's got uh, your option and all that type of shortcuts on there. You can also have the touch bar for your MacBook appear on it on the top or bottom. But um, I don't use the touch bar as is, so I'm not going to bother with that. And you can add enable tapping with your Apple Pencil. So in theory, it should see my iPad straight away. Yes, it does. And then you actually don't need to do anything except just enable it and have it on the same network. The iPad, as long as you're running iOS 13, obviously, will, sorry, iPad OS 13, it'll automatically launch it. You can then go into your, uh, let me go back here. You can then go into your display settings and you can then go and arrange it. So you can set it on the left or the right, etc. And what's the main one, it's all that normal sort of stuff. There are limited settings on the iPad. Um, it says scaled, but it only gives you a choice of one resolution at this point. Um, let me see if I hold option down. No, it's not giving me any choice of any other resolution. So that's your bundle. And it's sort of a retina resolution. I don't know if that'll change, but this is beta one, so you can never really tell with our friends at Apple. And then you can obviously do cutter settings. Uh, let's launch a Photoshop. Okay, now what I really want to see is the pencil support, how accurate it is. You're getting pressure sensitivity, so that's not bad. And you see, you can also use these shortcut bars now. Look at this is. Okay, so that button over there makes your menu bar appear on the screen. Uh, that's obviously onboard keyboard. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, that's Connect, disconnect, or undo, which I presume would go redo, and then some basic buttons there, option, command, control, and shift. And then that would normally be active if obviously I had the touch bar on the screen, which I don't. So and if you can I guess you can use pitch to zoom. Let's try sketchbook. Okay, so let's see. Can we drag yes we can? Okay, this is a whole lot of stuff on here. Okay, so you're still getting pressure sensitivity there as well. I must admit, I do seem to have to press a lot harder than I would normally have to. That could just be me being fussy, but... 
to get the, the darker lines. And of course, this should work with by simply disconnecting. Oh no, we just disconnected completely. Let's see if we can relaunch it. And we're back. Okay, so let's... Are we actually on this application? Yes, we are. Okay, so we can undo there. Okay, so let's see if there's a bigger delay. Uh, I'm not noticing any major delay, which means that I could literally pick this up and go and sit on the couch. But as you can see, it does work. It's not a fantastic implementation yet. I have had problems when I have had multiple screens. So not just the, you see over there, for instance, had a little hissy fit there for some reason. Where I've had multiple screens connected to my MacBook as well as this, and then try to do sidecar, the pen orientation I would be touching here but the cursor would be appearing over here somewhere so that still needs work obviously it doesn't like having any other screens connected well I hope you enjoyed this quick look I uh, don't recommend installing beta 1 software on anything if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe hit the little bell icon so that YouTube can remember to let you know about my new videos and I'll catch you on the next one bye bye